The Albright College football team scored 24 straight points in the second half, coming back to win the 2013 ECAC Southwest Bowl 45-34 over Juniata in Shirk Stadium. It was the second consecutive year that the Lions came from behind in the fourth quarter to beat a Centennial Conference team for the ECAC title. Albright had won at Franklin and Marshall 38-34 last year after trailing by 14 in the fourth quarter. Senior quarterback T.J. Luddy was named the game's most outstanding player after totaling four touchdowns. He threw for 201 yards and two scores while rushing for 71 yards and another pair of TDs. Senior Ty Hughes had 70 yards rushing on the day to eclipse 1,000 for the season. Devron Clark caught six balls for 76 yards and a touchdown. Senior Paul Hobbs led the defense with eight tackles on the day. Matt Pattison totaled 1.5 sacks, and Tyler Hamlet had a sack and four QB hurries. Albright trailed 14-0 after a disastrous opening five minutes. Juniata returned the opening kickoff to midfield and took the lead on a Ward-Udinski nine-yard run. Albright then carried the kickoff out of bounds deep in their own end before going three and out, and Juniata punched it in on three plays when the punt only reached the 25-yard line. Daniel McNair gave the Lions some much-needed momentum with a good kickoff return, and then made a nice catch down to the 10-yard line. Luddy ran it in from six yards out to get Albright on the board. Luddy hit Clark from 22 yards out to tie the game early in the second quarter, and then found McNair late in the period to pull even again at 21-21. Albright kicker Daniel Sobolewski booted a 47-yarder in the third quarter following another Juniata score, and the Lions finally took their first lead at 31-28 with 6.54 remaining in the game on a Hughes rush. Luddy then scrambled from 52 yards into the end zone with exactly five minutes to play, giving Albright a 38-28 lead. Two plays from scrimmage later, senior Levi Myers picked off Udinski's pass and took it 45 yards the other way for the icing points and a 45-28 scoreline. The Lions finished their season at 8-3 with an ECAC championship, while Juniata concludes its campaign with a 7-4 mark. I'm just extremely proud of these guys once again. Um, you know, our, our theme the whole week was finish, and, and we, we talked about putting our signature on the season. and, and uh, you, you know, I mean, it, it, just like it's a final exam. Basically, it's a culmination of, of 11 weeks of work. Uh, you know, 11 ball or uh, ele the 11th ball game, but really the culmination of a year's worth of work since last spring and and throughout all of football camp and, and what is a grueling season with a with a brutal schedule. You know, to get through the MAC uh, to be able to get, to be able to host uh, only the second postseason game in history. You know, here at Albright uh, is something that we were extremely excited about. Uh, Juniata is a good football team. I mean, I'm going to tell you, they have come so far. Uh, I'm extremely impressed by, by what they've done. I mean, C Coach Lance in, in three years ha has, has built that team to, uh, to a championship caliber team. And, and they came in here and they gave us everything they had. And uh, you got to give them a lot of credit. I mean, you know, they jumped out to a 14 nothing lead. Um, we closed the gap 14-7. Then we tied it 14-all. Then they took the lead at 21-14. We, we, we tied it. You know, going into the half, 21-21, uh, we think we had some momentum there. Then they scored in the third quarter to make it, you know, 28. We were able to get a field goal to make it 28-24, where it stood, felt like a long time. And then the fourth quarter, we just exploded with a really an avalanche of momentum. You know, it, it started offensively uh, on the on that drive when we, uh, you know, we, we drove down the field, converted. I don't know how many third downs, converted a fourth down. Uh, you know, Ty Hughes punched it in the end zone, and. Uh, you know, and, and then, uh, you know, we, we had a, uh, uh, on our next drive, you know, TJ, you know, uh, just, you know, being a senior quarterback, really a three-year starter, uh, what a great decision he made to, to scramble and, and run and really finish the, I don't know, what 60-yard touchdown run or whatever it was, you know, and, and, and that really is what put the game away. And then, and then uh, uh, you know, Levi Myers, again, another senior, uh, who had a great career, you know, he gets a pick six, you know, really to kind of put the icing on the cake. and. You know, once again, I'm just so proud of these guys. I mean, our, our, our you know, our defense stepped on, up, man. especially in the second half when we needed it. Um, you know, really allowed one score where it mattered. Uh, you know, that second touchdown, you know, we're, we're playing, you know, kind of a prevent type defense with a, you know, 15 or 18 point lead, whatever we had. And uh, offensively, you know, we finished. We finished on offense and it's what we needed to do. Uh, really, really finished the game and, and, and special teams. We made some big plays today. And, uh, you know, again, I'm just I'm so proud of these guys. I'm an ECAC Southwest Bowl champions. And uh, for these 29 seniors, no one can ever take that away from them. And, uh, and this is what they're going to remember, you know, for the rest of their lives. And this is their last football game, last home football game, last football game as an, as an Albright Lion. 
And, uh, I, you know, again, I'm just so proud of them. And I'm, I'm proud of our underclassmen, too, for the, you know, we got momentum, you know, I think, going into the off season, And already tomorrow morning, the 2014 season begins. And, uh, and, and I think we needed this momentum and confidence as a group of underclassmen. We're going to be extremely young next year, and we got to get to work. So, uh, uh, again, I'm, I'm really pleased, and, and uh, I'm, I'm proud of these young men.